turning this down early because Trey is already laughing at something. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and jump in. Yeah, let's jump right in. All right. Yeah, we don't need to. I don't need to wait till this part. Okay. What's so funny over there? My man Timmy over here is dancing for us. That's right. We have uh, a special, special guest in studio tonight. Finally, goddammit. Finally. It's, it's what it is. What do you want? His name is Tim, and uh, he's, I... He's busy I, adulting and shit. You, you need to make time for this bullshit. Come I, on. I'm I've, here, aren't I? Finally. I've known Tim for a really long time. Uh, it's been a, quite an honor, I guess. <laughs> what does that mean? And uh, well, he's here. He's he's a um, airline pilot. He, uh, uh, even more exciting, works in insurance. And, Is that exciting? Uh, has been... Uh, a good friend for a lot of years, and so we're real happy to have him here. He's got a lot of opinions, and uh, and we're ready to roll. Um, but before we go into that, <laughs> we have to talk about the things I've been talking about recently, which are sensitive people, Trey and Tim. Real fast, because I want to get right to our guest. If you remember when we had our first guest on, one of the biggest criticisms was that we didn't get to our guest quickly enough. Right. So I'm going to hurry. Hurry up. <laughs> We're now... Um, Not fast enough. I've mentioned the last couple episodes on how YouTube has a dislike button. Yes. And that's yes. new to me. And so when I see a dislike button, I get pissed. Or somebody that hits it. Even though I have 96% likes, you get that 4% dislike and you're right. like, what is this? Who? Yeah. Really? Well, butthurt assholes. And so I just wanted to let you know that the biggest amount of dislikes that we've received on YouTube is <laughs> about our bit on fat people getting on an airplane. Really? I can't imagine why. And I, I wondered to myself, like, is, are people really that sensitive? And I said, well, it's, this country is um, does have a lot of fat people in it, so maybe yeah. it's just the fat people that are disliking it. But I wanted to let you know that. So we get uh, not only disliked, Tim, but we get dislike. We got a dislike comment. And this, my friend, relates to you as a pilot because it's about it was about our airplane <laughs> joke. <was> greatness. <laughs> it was about. Well, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was the fat person in the airplane. But but I was talking about how when you get on an airplane, I think we think. There should be, you know how they have the little bag thing out there that says if your bag is this big, you can't. Oh, shit. Yeah. You, have to, you, have to, you have to put it under the plane? Why do I see where this is going? <laughs> there, there should be a seat there also. And if you can't, right? You okay, so buy a second seat. <laughs> so funny, sort of funny story. So my dad, my dad used to be a gate agent for Southwest Airlines. Okay. He had to deal with this all the time, right? Because Southwest, back in the day, this is like 2000, I don't know, six, seven, whatever it was, they had a policy, and they may still have it, I have no idea, but they had a policy to where if you couldn't, if you were over a certain weight or size, I don't even know what it is, but you had to buy two seats. That Which was their, I thought that was at all, always the policy. No? I, it might still be, I have no idea. But, so my dad, you know, he dealt with this every day. He actually. So he, was he in charge of like having to tell somebody? Yeah, the gate guess agents. What? The gate agents had to oh, tell people. No. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's why you need a seat. And then he gets away. He's like, "I'm sorry, but you got to sit in that seat." Yeah, and it's awkward, right? Like, how do you tell somebody that? So he came up with this idea. He's like, "We've got you know these people go through these metal detectors. Why don't we just add some tabs or something to where if they walk through it, that's true, and they hit that, a ticket comes out." You need to go back to the ticket oh. counter, buy a second <laughs> ticket. Can That's you, nice. He sent this whole. He had all these plans. Sent it to the patent office. Oh. Can you imagine though? How, how <laughs> and he much. was fired for fat shaming. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine how long the lines are already long enough most times? Like, well, I guess it's gotten better the last few times. But every, it's just like, can you imagine the chaos if somebody hit that hit that like, tab? Bare, was like, like they barely hit it. Like, yeah, it's Thanksgiving last week, motherfucker. Like, I'm sorry. It's like, my ass. Literally. Too much pumpkin pie. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm curious, have, have the dimensions of the seats changed at all over the years? Or I, they not been... that I, I don't think so. Well, wasn't that, Southwest pretty small? Like, didn't they, weren't their seats always kind of smaller? Or was am I just making that up? It, it was, I don't know if they were smaller. I think they were small. That way, width wise, yeah. Leg, leg, like, leg room. Yeah. Leg room in between. So right. they could put more seats in the airplane. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> And I don't know, as an airline pilot, did you know that planes can fly with only one engine? <laughs> really? Is that amazing? 
I didn't know that, man. That's crazy. That's, that's, I just want to make sure you knew that. So, I, <laughs> anyway. Dude, mind blown. I don't know what to say. I'm glad that Trey is here to provide you with knowledge of <laughs> how an airplane works. I thought he would, uh, you know, I just want to make sure he was I don't know how that, I don't know how it works, because to me, that seems like you would just fly in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> No, is that wrong? Do they distribute? You know, airplanes got this thing. It's called a tail uh-huh. and a rudder, like uh-huh. a boat. So you can just shift it. You have to. You got to. If you got, if you're on one engine, you 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 push the opposite rudder. Right. They call it dead foot, dead engine. So if you're not pushing on the rudder with one foot, let's say uh-huh. I'm pushing with my right foot. Hold on, my left foot just <laughs> my left foot's not doing anything. It means, left, gonna, it means the left engine's dead. Trey and I are going to steal a plane. So and the rudder keeps it down. The rudder keeps it straight. So you got to be good with right and left. But what if your, your leg? What if your leg accidentally hits something and you and you just miss it? Does that is that what causes? What the fuck are you talking about? All right. Now that's when he <laughs> comes over. That, next, that's when they come over. The, they come over the radio. Said, uh, "What are you?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the seatbelt sign is on. Yeah. Because I just yeah, I, my foot got caught. Let's wake these <laughs> motherfuckers up real quick. <laughs> There's know? nothing down there, man. There's two rudders. That's it. This oh, okay. Two feet, two, two rudders. rudders. Well, I don't know. They won't two let pedals. They, two won't, pedals. they won't let me fly. So two rudder pedals. Well, they, anyway, well, I, I can't wait to talk more about this. But before we do. Everybody that has watched in the last little bit knows exactly what this book is. <laughs> dun dun dun! And it's going to be fantastic. And it's a couple of would you rather's. And and what I the reason I do this is because it's a way to get to know our guests. And oh, I, this is for me. You're going to ask me. Well, questions. I'm going to ask Trey too because his answers are. I'd like to know. I mean, everybody wants oh, to know what Trey's yeah. answer. He's got most, an interesting life. Most people can guess Trey's answer by now, but <laughs> but especially when it has to do with like the gay stuff, but. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm just kidding. This is for both of you, and I'll, I'll, I'll chime in with my, my own opinion. Would you rather get a hand job from a perfect 10 or have sex with a 6? We're, I'm easing you in. I know by my the way. answer. I'm easing you in. Hand job from answer. a 10 or, or sex with a 6. I don't think 6 is that bad. No. No, I can't. Change the number. I mean, I, I've never had, I mean, mine have always been a I would say six. a 3. Let's, let's bump it to a, a three. 3. Let's bump it to a 3. <laughs> Or I would do ones. the six. I would. I would take the six. What about yeah, two, sex with hold on. six? Absolutely. Hold on. Hand job from a ten, or sex with two threes. <laughs> the same time. Two. That would be two ones for me. No. No. Okay. So no. you and I, we're in two totally different worlds when it comes to that stuff. No. You want to do the two threes over? I would do the two threes. No way. Let's, let's get some freaky shit right, going so, on. But the six is okay. I like the six. So no, no six. one wants to look at that ten. The ten. I mean, it's a ten. That's a hand job, though. It's like, yeah, but it's still, it's her, and she's. Oh. She might not even be into it. You know, well, she's kind of. Well, she's probably not. <laughs> if it's one of us. <laughs> I'm just thinking high maintenance. Trey, do ten that. is high yeah. maintenance. I can't. Would you rather have sex with a perfect ten and get herpes, <laughs> or oh have sex with a two, but get a twenty dollar coupon to Long John Silver's? <laughs> Wait a minute. Is Look, herpes curable? No, it keeps coming back. I mean, it's not. I mean, it, okay. I, I mean, not that Let's I go with the have two. And you want the, you want can we do Long Arby's John? or something? Do we it's, have to it's, do? Well, it's Long I don't know, Silvers. man. Long John Silver's. That's it, diarrhea essential. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it says Long John's, but you know, I'm willing to switch. So we all agree that you're probably we're, you don't want the herpes. <laughs> You want the coupon. Speaking of, do you like? Do you hey, have to? Oh, I'm, I'm not, sorry, I'm not I'm done sorry, yet. Are you? Okay. You know what? I'll do that in a minute. No, oh. I was just going to ask: is is there a rank? <laughs> like, is there like as far as uh, you know, which seat you get to sit on based on your rank and stuff like that? And you know, who gets to do what? Who gets to push what button? You know, there's two pilots. Oh yeah, there's a whole fl- there's a whole flow that goes on. That's a good question. I'm, I'm right? curious. That's a good is, question. It's true. Yeah. Everybody's there's got their pilot own specific one, pilot jobs. Two. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's captain and first officer. Okay, so right. are you captain or are you first officer? I'm does ca- does I'm it captain. depend on what kind of sexual favors you do? <laughs> which one you get to be? <laughs> That's classified. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course he's Captain Trey. What the fuck's the matter with you? Because I'll let you be my first officer <laughs> anytime you want. Oh, I bet you would. <laughs> Trey, Trey just likes the uniforms, okay? I he do. Just wants I do the like uniform. the uniforms. He wants to pretend to be captain. It's so hot. We all know he's not flying but anywhere. But speaking of, uh, you know, fat, captain and first captain, did you know... First officer. First officer oh, for, and captain. For captain and first captain. Did you know <laughs> that pilots and co-pilots typically eat different meals? Did you know that? 
Wait, I didn't even know that pilots whoa, whoa, whoa. and copilots got meals. Whoa, whoa, I'm oh. gonna, I think I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess this one. Why they they eat two different types of meals? Correct? I, or are you saying at different? It's times? just in case if one has it gets food. That's what I was gonna yeah. say. In case oh. they don't want to both get sick. So if one but is what if, having the Hershey squirts, then the other one's <laughs> flying the plane but without Tim, any issues. Tim, yes, we're we're talking way more than our guest. Tim, if you wanted the chicken, <laughs> and your co pilot uh or first, first, lieutenant, officer, first lieutenant, officer first admiral whatever the oh my yeah. gosh first first officer yeah one he wanted the chicken how do you decide who gets that ravioli bullshit that comes <laughs> the captain chooses first the ca- oh okay captain's not- in charge of the airplane oh, he gets right. he gets whatever he wants right so if you're fr- if you're first officer and you you know who your captain's gonna be you're like damn it, I'm not getting the chicken today. yeah <laughs> you I'm bring your own chicken ravioli bring your own. that's right because you can always bring in yeah some, man stop at Chick Fil A and bring it that, on yourself that's, oh, that's true. a good idea yeah that's I, I idea. would do that anyway right yeah yeah that's a good question I like yeah. that question Trey I did not mean to interrupt how do you choose who gets to take the first nap of the flight <laughs> that's totally random okay yeah that's just whoever falls asleep wh- whatever first. happens happens. <laughs> yeah. I was talking about naps not the. <laughs> Um, would you, <laughs> this one's going to be really good. This may be the only thing we need to do on this show tonight. Would you rather give the person on your left? <laughs> oh, Trey's getting everything from me. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> a massage with a happy ending. Sweet. Oh, you're so lucky. Or the person on your right, a thorough prostate exam. Oh, oh. <laughs> but the Does it matter what, you, what he uses on, to check on. it? But the fact that. That you guys were totally cool with the first one. You're like, oh yeah, uh, happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> and that you were grossed out by the idea of just my bottom. You know? So anyway, okay. So Do you feel the, offended by that? So Tim, your answer is easy. You you would go left. I would go left. Okay. Without a doubt. And you would not go left. You you are you would you go right for the prostate because it's Timmy. Hmm. The way he's looking tonight, I probably would go right. <laughs> he is dressed quite nicely. Yeah. He's making us look like a couple of slouches. Yeah. But we he, do that yeah. to ourselves. With the glasses he had on yeah. earlier? Yeah. I mean, my God. Oh, there, there, they, go. there they are. Throwing the glasses are. on. Boom. You love it. All right. Well, here's an. <laughs> this is going to be the, the last one of the evening of these because we have lots to get to. I might need more beer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> would you rather masturbate with a real yes. lip? Uh, <laughs> That may be it right there. No, if, if this wasn't so good, I would have just closed the close right. Would you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> would you rather masturbate with a real living Elmo hand puppet <laughs> doing his voice? Holy shit! Or a real living Cookie Monster <laughs> hand puppet doing his voice? Oh, I like the Cookie Monster. Yeah. Yeah. When he says "C is monster. for Cookie." Yeah. C is uh, for. Yeah. Okay. Nom, 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 what about you, Timmy? Elmo or Cookie Monster? Cookie Monster. There we go. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, Elmo sounds too much like a little, yeah, a little yeah, kid. That's, that's me off it's very awkward. Bit. Yeah. Okay. Well, and and uh, we would like to thank our guests for coming in tonight. And uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> until next now, time. Until next time. Uh, those are fun. I just I always like to throw those out there. I know some people are like oh they're so silly, but uh, we enjoy them. So uh, I think we learned a lot from Tim already. I aim right. Did I aimed to please, you know whatever you need. Okay, so let me ask you, has there ever been a situation where you had to turn the plane around, or do you have protocols where if something specific happens, you have to turn the plane around? Well, I bet there's a lot of them, though. There's a ton of them. Yeah, Yeah. we got a whole book. That's too broad. Okay. Yeah, I mean, mechanical, you know, it depends, right? So have you had a situation already where you've had to turn the plane around? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Mechanical, that's probably the most common when you say it all the time. Can you tell us about the craziest one, or is that kind of... I really haven't had any crazy ones. Just Nothing kinda, like no, not having any like engine failures or or okay. crazy mechanical things like that's good. Gear won't come. I, I, you know, I'm scared of, that, of so. engine failure bullshit. Oh man, no, there's th- those engines are they're very legit. Light. Yeah, there's it's very rare. I can't imagine though that you'd be like, you know what, it's hit or miss with. <laughs> so nothing, <laughs> nothing. For Every takeoff is a brand. <laughs> yeah. Nothing no. for a passenger. You never had to turn around. The passenger <clears throat> oh, was an I have. Are you guys saying the Our Father as you take off? <laughs> For ahead, me, go it's, go I've got more like uh, danger zone going on. In my oh, oh, nice. See, I do that as a passenger, though. I'm like, I'm like, you got this. Whenever they announce the captain's name, I remember it. I'm like, you got this, David White. Yeah, you got we got this. you. Yeah, come on, David yeah. White. I don't know. I, look, that's the first whitest name. Just, that's the whitest name. So do you want? Do you want my story? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Or, so people, I'm sorry, yeah. No, no, you yeah, asked. Tell the story. Yes. Okay, everyone needs to calm down. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Ryan. Trey asked you uh, if there are any people that caused you to turn the plane around. Oh, yeah. 
Like we hadn't even left the, we had just pushed off the gate and I had to return to the gate and have the guy arrested. Have, have arrested? a guy arrested? Yes. And you're not oh, allowed to good. give the detail, are you? Or can you? This is a long, this was probably 2000, I don't know, four or five, early yeah. 2000s. I was still a first officer, so I was eating the ravioli. Right? <laughs> I had just finished my ravioli. We're nice. in St. Louis. We push off the gate. Flight attendant calls up. St. Louis, that's why. Pushing off in St. Louis. Flight attendant calls up. She says, got a problem. Okay, what's, what's the problem? I got a passenger back here who's touching themselves. Oh, oh. that was Trey. <laughs> it was Trey. Trey. I knew I knew you from somewhere. <laughs> that was you. I knew it. <laughs> Couldn't place it. Hey. it out. So as a first officer, I'm like, hey, man, you're in charge. That's your deal. Like, I, I'm just along for the ride at this point, right? Right. right. So he starts asking questions like, what do you mean he's touching himself? Like, what, what's going on? Well, sure. And she's, she's, and he's got it out. He's touching himself. Are you serious? Like, yeah. He, yep. I'm like, it was just out, like he was just going to tell I mean, I didn't see it. This is what she's telling us, right? And, okay. And so Take it easy. captain elected to come back in. They called the cops. The cops came out, took the guy off. That was it. Did they make him put it away before they put him, <laughs> pulled him out of the plane? I mean, can you imagine? I'm this guy's assuming so. Yeah, I don't think it's just <laughs> swinging to and fro, right? It's just, <laughs> you know, they say they say to keep your elbows in. <laughs> it's like, what's going on back there? <laughs> you know. <laughs> so you did not actually see this guy or know that he was actually doing this. But if they took him off and arrested him, he, there had to have been some sort of evidence. Yeah, I mean, as a crew, you you always support your other crew members, right? right? The flight attendant saw something you believe. Well, she's well, she's got no reason to lie. Well, sure, unless it was in, like an ex boyfriend or something, or a bad Tinder date or something. <laughs> right, right. I don't think they had Tinder back then. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but he did not way. look like what he said yeah. in his pictures. Put yeah. that away, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so that's interesting. So turn around because of uh, of. I got to write that down. Do not masturbate <laughs> okay. on. Keep plane. it in yeah. your pants. See, this is right. on Tim's plane. Your, keep it in your pants. Trey, oh, that's a friend of mine. Let him go. He's fine. Trey's learning how to be the uh, <laughs> a good passenger on there. Yeah. Are, are there any others that kind of like where you had to turn around mid flight? Other than mechanical, no. Other than mechanical, what no. kind of mechanical? And, and again, I'm freaking myself out, but just. I get it. It's like anything, but I mean, how far away do you have to be where you're like, mm, we not going to really, happen. We're not really going to turn around. We're halfway. <laughs> like, when, I mean, it's, it's, well, see, see here's the thing: it. when you fly domestic, all these airlines they have maintenance bases spread out. Oh, uh, so you could. Oh, you're diverting to somewhere else. Yeah, so you'll divert. Say you've, it's, it's, especially if it's something minor, right? Let's say, let's say I'm going up to Cleveland and I take off out of Houston. I don't know why I'm using this because it but, really happened. Okay, because it really happened. Take off. It's in the winter. And you yeah. get a message that your ice system fails. Right. Well, you can't go into Cleveland. It's icing, right? Your ice system's not working. Well, you so could just just try. <laughs> What's really? <laughs> What's an ice system? Does turn that, into the curve. You know, is that turn like into yes. the skid. is yeah. that yes. like what melts the ice as you're flying into? Yeah. The so cold like air? the the silver part on the front of the wings, the leading edge of the wing, it's silver. Right. Those are heated oh. through oh. air from the engine. That was not in one of my facts right there. So <laughs> so, I'm glad I learned that. See, now I taught you. Yeah. So these airplanes, especially the newer ones, they all have automatic ice detection systems. So oh, as course. soon as it, it's got this little probe and it detects ice, it oh. automatically turns the systems but, off. But isn't when, we, when you're up at 35,000 feet or whatever it ends up being, isn't it like cold as shit up there anyway? It's like negative. Yeah, but it's so cold it doesn't freeze the airplane. It's when you get down and lower. It, and it's like in that... That that kind of yes. awkward range. Oh, yes. that's interesting. I was leading to something with that. Okay, question. Uh, go ahead. I, I would like to hear it. So I I don't know if I, I've seen a lot of this story going around. So you guys might have already seen this, but a Delta flight from Atlanta to Barcelona was forced to turn around after a passenger on board suffered a bout of oh no diarrhea, <laughs> <laughs> which ran in that look. It, Atlanta to, to Barcelona? Barcelona. That's a pretty long that's, flight. Yeah, that's not, yeah, that's not a two-hour flight. That's not domestic, I don't Ugh. think. Did it, does uh, it right, right, Tim? That's a long flight, right? That's a pretty long flight. Does it say what they ate before they got on the flight? Let me see here. Um, so, Trey, you're telling me that Delta Airlines had a, a long, a long... It's well, a I didn't big, tell you Delta Airlines, but now... No, you, know you did. No, you did. Did I say Delta? Yeah, you said okay. Take it easy. Um, I listen. Yeah. And, and it, it was a long flight, so it was a big plane. Uh, and somebody... So, so my question is... Somebody had a poo-poo. Somebody had a poo-poo, right, Tim? Right. Is that the... Is well, that, and it says a text message sent to air traffic control. The captain was succinct 
Yeah, yeah that's, that's a big right. word for me. I don't know. That's well I didn't done. Google that word. Well done. In explaining the problem, divert to Atlanta, passenger diarrhea all over aircraft. <laughs> all over aircraft. That's a big blame. Yeah. Succinct. That's a big word. That was a big word. Um, so who, I'm but proud who, of myself. Who would tell you in that situation as the captain, like, was anybody the flight attendant somebody oh I, well i'm sure the smell told them first well i would have to but it wouldn't get through that door isn't that like a sealed door you guys you, 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 you're you in a get, fortress up you there. get yeah but the air circle i mean you get smells you get smells. oh <laughs> you, you get smells. okay next time i'm by, by that door i'm gonna go ahead and drop one through there <laughs> oh terrible isn't it no um but but okay so anybody could tell you and you have those codes. Let me ask you, what does one ding mean? One ding. When it goes <laughs> ding, ding. When it says ding, and then I always see the flight attendant get up because I'm... I'm. Does she get on the phone? Or yeah. Or he get on the phone? On the, yeah. I'm always suspicious. Usually, like, when we ding, it's... Uh, it's a, if it Not the seatbelt ding. ding. I, like, and, well, I know, but there's different tones, right? Do, different, can you do that again for us? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Stop it. If I, if I, if I want to talk to them, I push a button and it goes ding. Right back there, different. Not like if you want to talk, not the same thing. And yeah, they'll pick up and talk. Um, and usually that's to say like uh, it's getting rough up ahead. Or yeah, we always just tell we just tell like there's weather. You need to sit down, or you know, I don't know. We're in the hold. Because when I hear that ding, it makes me nervous. Because that means why would they want? Why would they need to talk to the? Uh, it could just <laughs> be they have to go to the bathroom, that's or they true. want their chicken and ravioli. Dude, they put that whole uh, cart tray. Do you know what I'm talking about? They put that whole food cart. In front of that door, and they both stand. By, the both flight attendants will stand behind it when the a pilot goes to the bathroom. You've been on many yeah, planes, yeah, yeah. And they're just like ready. Like right. anybody comes up uh, this way, you, you've got a food cart to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you ever feel like pretty cool? You're like, <laughs> I'm being guarded all the time. All the time. <laughs> because I know you. I've known you for years, and and you you pee a lot. My bladder is the size right. of it's of very a, small of a peanut. So anybody, anybody on Tim's flight has sees him like, <laughs> like why is this pilot? I am so I'm very conscientious of that. You're right? good. So I'll I'll pee before we leave and I'll pee as soon as we land. Yeah, right? someone's it's like, just, uh, can I get you a uh, captain? Can I get you a water? No, 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 no. fuck you and your water. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> just more ravioli. Just more ravioli. Okay, so continue the story. So. So it di- so it diverted, turned around. How quickly does it say? Like doesn't say. It says the situation was very distressing for both passengers and crew. Well, no, no shit. shit. Literally, um, says my partner was on the flight and it was pretty bad. It was dribbled. It it, it was dribbled down the aisle. <laughs> dribbled. I thought I was reading that wrong, but it was dribbled down the aisle and smelled horrible. That sounds about right. It said the vanilla scented disinfectant oh. they used only made it smell like vanilla shit. <laughs> oh. My um, God, this is the worst story. It says after <laughs> the plane have landed, mechanical issues. Uh, after the plane landed, obviously it was thoroughly clean. They didn't oh. leave until about two thirty a.m. No, oh my God. no. Did they have to get back yeah. on that plane? I know. Probably. No. It sounds like they did. No, Captain. Oh, sir, Captain Timmy. Yes. If if you land in that situation, you know how you you guys always come. Well, of course you know. Oh shit! He comes out. Hold on, I can't wait to hear what you're going to say. But you know when you. You come on and you say, everyone, until the, I turn that fucking seatbelt sign off, you sit. <laughs> I mean, people are like, like, do you just want to take the seatbelt off and get, and you're just like, nope. <laughs> do you, nope. Do, do you, you leave it on a little, a little ding, extra line? <laughs> <laughs> all the buttons are going off. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what'd you find? So you're asking oh. me if I screw with the passengers. Yeah. Yes. No, I don't screw with the okay. passengers. Right. No. Okay. No. It's like, man, they must be sleeping right now. Let's take yeah. a right hand turn real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the turbulence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Terrible. Here's some, I don't know why I went. Isn't that what they do? The seatbelt sign is still on. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, the seatbelt. Uh, please keep the seatbelts on, uh, even if this is a smooth flight, just in case a sudden tur. Uh, look, no, sudden, this is the word. Sudden you want the word? Turbulence. This is the word. Okay, use the word. Ding, right? You turn it off. <laughs> Dang. Uh, we could do these that. Are, these are my words. These are my words every time. Ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck, we reached our final cruising altitude of 34,000 feet. should be a smooth ride for the rest of the flight. We're going to turn that fastened seatbelt sign off. However, we do ask that if you are seated, to keep your seatbelts fastened at all times, just in case we encounter any bumps on the way to XYZ. Oh, that, I got chills. I don't like, can you change the word should? Because oh. <laughs> that leaves a little bit of doubt. I, I like there. to leave the doubt in there because it's not my fault if it's not smooth, right? It's true. I can it is just, your fucking fault. Because yeah. we call that button that we turn that seatbelt sign off, that's the turbulence button. As soon as you turn that MFR off, it it gets bumpy immediately. 
every really? single yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Every single Why time. Why do you turn it off then? I, just, I want them to be able to go to the bathroom so we don't have yeah. diarrhea in the airplane like well, the there you go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Trey. I don't think the button would have helped with this one. Anyway, <laughs> oh. Yeah, all of a sudden the button's on. Well, I can't. I, I can't, can't go. I'm just I gonna shit myself. Yeah, the diary is gone now. I'm good. <laughs> although it is, although that is funny though. Like <sighs> that sign goes off, and I, I swear, is a passenger even. I'm like, oh shit, the sign's off. I bet it's gonna get bumpy yeah. any second, and all of a sudden it's bumpy, and then it's like ding back Every on. Time, I'm like, man. oh. I always have to pee at an approach for whatever reason. It's right before the fucking approach. Oh, yeah. I'm always like, well, I'll hold on until in the next, you know, we're approaching. Please yeah. sit the and fuck down. And some approaches are longer than others. Yes. Right, Tim? It's true. Okay. Why is that? Just wind? Traffic. Oh, well, it's where Heathrow and London is the worst, right? Well, I mean, that's Europe. Everything's messed up in Europe. Oh, so it's all. It was, it's just I, smaller. I, I the remember, airspace we circled, smaller. We circled Heathrow for an hour. It's like, oh, it's finally our turn. And then you just like dive into and, and go. I mean, oh. it's crazy. You look out the window in he, at Heathrow and you just see all the other planes at different altitudes circling. Holding. Yeah, that doesn't make me comfortable. Why? Because just visual out the window doesn't make me feel like you can't accidentally run into something. It's so cool, man. When you're landing at the same time, there's a guy right next to you. You're looking over like, oh, look at that guy. Do, you're just uh, going together. Do you together. ever compete with that guy to like land quick, faster? <laughs> <laughs> do you, we'll make comments like, he's going faster than you. You know, yeah. what's going on here? <laughs> do you ever, so one time we were about to land in Colorado and a, a storm flew in. It was wind, rain, blah, blah. Anyway, so we're circling the airport, so which is fine. And I'm sitting there watching a movie. I'm sitting thinking, why the fuck are we still up in the air? Like the movie's almost over. They said 20 minutes we'd be landing, blah, blah, blah. And so my ex was like, you know, they're circling. There was a, uh, a storm in there. I was like, okay, well, cool. And it was almost like, okay, we're circling, circling, circling. Do you ever get to the point where it's like, fuck it, we're doing it, and you just go? Or is it <laughs> is there – because it seemed like it, because we were circling, yeah. and all no, of a sudden it just went, you know what, fuck it, we're going in. And oh. I mean, that plane was going all kinds of crazy shit. Oh. Like the, there was one – I heard I heard emergency, emergency, like – I don't know if it was a button. I was uh-uh. like, and, and so I took I my headphones out, out and I was like, what's going on? And my ex is like, oh, it's just turbulence. I was like, oh, okay. oh, just somebody yelling emergency. But then I'm sitting on the aisle seat and this poor flight attendant is like coming down the aisle, literally banging up against these chairs. Yeah. And she gets down to the 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 row behind me and the lady's like, I'm feeling a little sick to my <laughs> stomach. And you see the death look on her face. Yeah. And she walks slamming down the aisle, grabs a bag, brings it back uh. down on the way back this flight attendant fell. I caught her. Oh, helped her back up. She gave the bag to the lady and then went back and sat down. But then my worry wasn't about the plane. It's about the lady throwing up behind yeah. me. And I'm like, I don't want to hear this. I don't want to smell this. And oh, and you hope she gets it in the where, bag. That was the my yeah. with the bumps that yeah. could fly over your seat. So that's then that's true. my oh. that's my anxiety at that point. Yeah. But um, but it was almost like the pilot was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just do this. Let's go. Let's well, roll. But is it, it's not always your decision. It's not the pilot's decision. Oh, it's totally the pilot's decision. Absolutely. Really? Yes. 100%. Oh, I thought they would have to give you like authorization. 100%. No. I mean, they, they Well, they hope you would make the right decision. I'm well, man. They trust you to make the right yeah. decision. Yeah. For <laughs> sure. I'm Great. sure they train you for that shit, oh, right? Absolutely. I don't know if that makes me feel better or worse. Not at all. So it's I was like, well, I, can, you know, I, can I mean, pull this shit off, you know? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> we got I mean, we got weather radar, there's What's wind, the there's wind shear detection, there's all kinds of stuff on those airplanes. Do you want confidence it's, it's, in a pilot or do you want uh safety in a pilot? But but I went, I, you know, the, I fly in a, a little bit to the Aspen airport and that airport is known for being like really That's a tough airport. Really, t- <laughs> I love every time we're like, Oh, we're about to uh, start our descent now. I'm like, Oh shit. <laughs> Cause everybody, that's what everybody says. Yeah. Including you, a pilot. Yeah. Well, Aspen is a special airport, right? So you have to actually be qualified to fly right. to Aspen, not any, but like I, I'm not qualified. You haven't done that. You, I haven't, haven't done the training, the training to do that. Aspen. They, they only qualify a certain amount of. They only qualify like, I don't know how many people, but it's a certain amount, and that's all they do. And it's because so when it's like Aspen, they'll the go mount, back and forth. The, the mountains are that close, and the elevation you have to oh, turn okay, into it. Oh, it's It's bad. There's like it's basically one way in, one way out. Right. You and can't you, really go the other way. If you lose an engine, it's 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 tough. It's really a hard airport to get. What about uh, what about Vegas? It all, that would always seems like it's rough going into what? Vegas. This is like I don't know. Wide open, isn't it? Well, it's wide open, but it's it's, it's windy. hot and yeah. the thermals. It's bumpy. It's always bumpy. In the okay, always. What's the hardest airport you've ever had to fly into? It's Mexico City. Whoa, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is it because all the cartel shooting at you, or yes, <laughs> you got to dodge the missiles. You know, get the flares ready. It's all that stuff. 
sorry for our cartel listeners. I don't mean Mexico's just hard. hard. I think we have a lot. Probably that's probably our our uh, listeners. Are I bet cartel. they really worry about the diarrhea on the way out of that <laughs> motherfucker too. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're flying out of Mexico City, you need yeah. to be prepared for Come that. On. Now, yeah. let me get back to my story real okay, quick. Okay, get back to your story. Uh, so, a passenger said both my wife and I were on the flight. It was a mess. Said the pilots made the right decision to turn around. Said the ground crew ripped out the carpet and put in oh. new carpet for this plane. Oh, my for the gosh. like that Like, quickly. Yes. Uh, so, that was crazy. Did they know. go back to Atlanta? Is that where they landed? Yeah. Uh, landing back in Atlanta. Uh, shifted they, to they addressing the biohazard <laughs> issue throughout thorough it cleaning must not the have aircraft. Been very far. Tim, they must not have been very far. Oh. <laughs> they got they got from Atlanta to like Charlotte, and they're like, no, let's just go back. So following an eight hour and thirteen minute flight, the plane finally finally landed in Barcelona. So they were actually eight hours behind schedule. So I guess they made it. So eight hours behind schedule because of <laughs> somebody put, had some horrible so they diarrhea. Pulled up the carpet and re- <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine they, that shit? They rebuilt inside the plane. Ugh. I don't know if that helped. I bet. I, I don't thought, know if I would get back on that plane. I bet some people are like, I, it's just, I could, there's, yeah. I just know it's there. I want to understand. I, I, I'm still trying to figure, I'm picturing it dribbling down. <laughs> yeah. it dribbled. Like, is it like a river flowing? And they didn't show any pictures. And as you're, land, as you're pictures. landing, I know that you don't always go, but you go down like this a little bit. You kind of go down. No, the man. Tip. When you're landing, you're actually at a nose well, up attitude. At some point, but I thought for no, a little bit. No. Ever? As you're descending, it's even in those. Okay, f- well, those fine. Then let's reverse my theory, which is all that dribble starts going to the back. <laughs> Can you? Yeah, it's going to flow to the back. So I feel I'm, I'm I'm envisioning a lava lamp. Oh my god, a lava lamp, and you it's like what if you're in the bubbly, back? Like you're in the back flowing. aisle. You're like God, God, come on. Are you oh. see it coming? You're like ah, God. Anyway, anything else to that? So in that Can story? you imagine being on that plane? You reach down to put your bags underneath there, and you think there's chocolate, <laughs> and it's like, oh, come on, right? Is that Train. taking it too far? Do you smell it or lick it? I'm not even surprised you took Good it that question. far. Which one is it? Do you, you get hot chocolate while do you're you like, there? You like you get it on your hand, you, <laughs> or oh, <laughs> which one is it? Oh, Gross. I'm not. You know, Trey, Gross. leave it alone. No, I'm just, I'm just. None of this surprises me that you brought it. You took it to that. <laughs> See, my biggest fear on planes, and we've talked about this before, is I've somehow had, the shit was going to get into his mouth. <laughs> he, he brought it there, literally, literally. Oh, um, that's what I meant. My biggest concern is kidney stones. I've had issues with kidney stones. I'm always afraid about what would problem. y'all What would y'all do if if I started having kidney stone pains? Is that something that you're like, okay, we turn back around for this, or like you know, sit good, back? Good the whole process, man. So if somebody's ill in the back, it's we like, have quit, access. Quit we have access to call medical personnel on the ground, doctors on the ground, and have them ready to go. We have a form and. They they ask certain questions. The flight attendant answers these questions, gives us the form. We talk to the doctor. They tell us what to do. There's a medical kit on board for certain things. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a whole, yeah, there's a whole process. So okay. they've got it figured out. They do a really good job with it. Well, I mean, so, so did, and then you determine whether or not you make the full flight or you or cut you it off somewhere else. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. Yep. Do, have they ever thought about, I know this sounds, I don't know, maybe, maybe unrealistic, but. I mean, are there doctors on, I mean, could they put a doctor technically on uh, that work for the airline on the flights? Just always sure. have somebody. They could. I mean, instead of saying like, is anyone a doctor? Like, <laughs> yeah, they, they still do that. Well, they do. And then you got a time. plastic surgeon who's like, yeah, I got this. And yeah. he's given, you know, CPR. Well, I can give CPR the same as a plastic surgeon. I mean, they could. I think back in the day, flight, all flight attendants were nurses. Uh, like when air, oh, like were, back oh, in the fifties and sixties, yeah, yep. I wonder why they went away from that. I wonder if they, um, I wonder if do you know if in flight attendant training they have to um, have kind of similar? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, don't, I bet they do. They have to have some. They I think have they have some. to know how to use like the what is that the fibrillator thing and <laughs> what is that? I don't even know what it's called. What's it called? It, it's what your, is that? that? That is yeah. It's your term, your terminology. Yeah, is that safe to use up in a in a plane though? Yeah. Okay. Because it's those kind where you you know you put them on, it'll tell you whether to shock or not. Okay. It, it's all automatic. But um, are they protected? Because I read a story the other day where uh, somebody did uh, CPR on somebody and actually broke a rib, but saved their life. And they sued the person because they broke oh, the rib. Oh God! That, but the that, judge that makes me so mad. But the judge literally said, "Listen, sure. they they saved your life, yeah. you know. So is there are you guys protected for shit like that? Um, you got to be right. I would think. So. I have, yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't know. I would think so. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to stop me from trying to help somebody. Anyways. Right. 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 It, I don't think it stop I, anybody. I would just hope somebody that life got saved, they wouldn't be an asshole and do something like that. But you never well, know. Obviously, these days. there's people out there. <clears throat> a money grab. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, there's yeah money grab everywhere, but. 
Um, okay, was there into that, or is that pretty much it? Diarrhea everywhere. Yeah, I wish I we could show pictures. But, uh, <laughs> gross. <laughs> you know, uh, you know what? You know what? I, I'm gonna move on. Let's move on. We're um, moving on because right. I don't. <laughs> Like Even just the thought chocolate. of a picture. Oh my god. So okay. So Tim, sir, um, kind of on the same page as this last <laughs> Trey story. Uh, <laughs> I want to know. I I want to know, and I don't want to know. But the, but the I want to know wins in this. What if you have like a scariest moment? If uh, whether it's you uh, and the passengers had no idea whether it's just you, whether something happened, you're going, that could have ended badly, uh, as much as you can tell. Um, and pref- preferably on the largest planes that you've flown, uh, but, but but also the smaller ones too, I'd like to. I just, anything that, that close calls, because even though it's There's the safest a, method yeah. of travel and yeah. all that horse shit, <laughs> it really is, I don't, though. I know. I, fake news. <laughs> yeah, fake. P- people fake. throw that statistic at me, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I'm just kidding. Of course it is. But go ahead. Do you, do you have any in mind? Uh, there's always moments, right? There's always like... Oh, <laughs> I don't want to hear there's like, always moments. Well, not always, but I mean, when you fly every... You know, you fly, what, four days a week for... 20 some sure. years That's you're I mean. gonna have stuff right give me some of the some of the big boys the one that always sticks out in my mind i think about it all the time um just cruising along right Thirty-seven thousand. this just is what cruising, i'm talking about cruising along out of nowhere oh yes out of nowhere the airspeed starts you, there's a called a trend vector on the airspeed so it tells you where you're going to be in a certain amount of seconds it drops oh the, it, we also have a instrument it's called your VSI, vertical speed indicator. It tells oh, you sure. up or down of if course, you're going up or down. Course. You knew that, right? That, right. Starts VSI, to, yeah. that goes down, right? 3,000 feet a minute, and we're just dropping all the stuff oh. in the flight deck. So you drop right? it. Not cockpit. All the stuff starts floating. Yeah, Trey likes to call it cock. He, like, he, he likes, he likes anything cock. Well, well only like men it. are able to fly planes, right? So it's the cockpit. <laughs> Is that not right? Right. <laughs> Oh man, we got girls. Is that not in? It's the, there's, well, they're stewardesses. The women. Are... Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Y'all so are so screwed. Here, Sorry. Here, yeah. <laughs> uh, our women listeners have now gone down. Yeah. Uh, even more. No. And uh, in all seriousness, so you were just like we're just we're we're level and just fall. No way. Yes. Wow. Yes. And this, this was on a what size plane? Like a this is on it, it, it was passenger a, a, plane. A, it was a fifty seat regional jet, but still passenger yeah, plane. A jet two like engine a, jet. Like, a, like it's it cruises. It's thirty seven thousand feet. Like one of those it's, express type. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, and it <sighs> it's just dropping. Oh. You put the power levers all the way up to help stop that sure, speed reduction sure. so that's you don't what, stall because a plane can stall. That's, oh, what, shit. that's what we would do, right, Trey? Yeah, speed reduction. And nothing's happening. You know, the speed is just dropping. We're dropping. Everything is floating. Dro- oh, like, God. you got coffee and drinks and books and it's shit. It's like you're it's in just space. It's just floating. God. Yeah, it's neg- you're negative G-ing, and it's just all floating in front of you. You're like, what the fuck is going on oh, and you and you're helpless you, you weren't ready anything. for it so you woke up and <laughs> you couldn't there's, happening. There's, <laughs> <laughs> no man we were both <laughs> awake you, stop you woke up and the plane was falling and, oh, oh, your vodka so, uh, fell in the ground <laughs> <laughs> so so but um, my ravioli was safe yeah, so go. it's okay <laughs> good. so so you were uh, so you weren't able to predict that at all no out of nowhere, or or was it maybe like three seconds, and you still weren't able it to do it? It felt like forever. No, no, no. Right. I mean, but like, so you're just cruising along. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> it's not a steering wheel, Ryan. It's just so, <laughs> downshift. Yeah, you're cruising along. The but, autopilot's look, on. The autopilot's flying. I, I used flying. to play Afterburner at the arcade. Yeah, okay, I know, I know, I know how to play the. Oh, I missed that. Was a good game. So what? Ha- fun. How did you? I mean, but so so. At what point do you know? That, that that's going to happen, gonna or die. you're saying you didn't know until it was happening. We didn't know until it was happening. There was no indication, nothing happened. But did you? Holy know, shit! I guess my question is: Did you know what it was that was happening at the time? No. Whoa, that's that's. Oh, no, you're just trying to fix the problem, I just, right? I got chills. Something never, happens. Never, you're just trying to fix the problem. I'm never flying again. Fucking, fucking no. Right. Come no, on, I'm, this jo- is, I'm joking. I'm yeah, joking. So, Go ahead. And then it's it it snaps, right? It snaps, and you. Everything falls and the plane just it snaps. It back was, in. It was severe turbulence. Yeah. 
and we how, dropped how and it hit and it popped and it was how long was how long was it you said i know it felt like forever but it how long? felt like forever it was probably if i had to guess probably five seconds but still five it seconds. feels it, when you yeah, see that seconds. stuff happening the airspeed falling you're do falling you, you can't fix it like what what do you you feel helpless do you hear passengers like ah like in the back we didn't you you're so hyper focused on what's going on yeah oh well, you sure know, you, you don't you don't think about that stuff i'd be like shut up for a second let me figure this out <laughs> yeah <laughs> quit yelling back there man but that's crazy yeah. that was that so one stuff like that. i think about that one a lot okay you just, said it was severe turbulence you said yeah so how what, what's the uh um, where was it do you, we were what? flying from cleveland to austin Oh, so just over the middle. We of the were country. probably, we were probably over Oklahoma, something like it's that. We much, weren't far from Austin. Too much Cleveland in in your stories. That's a problem. You need a better route. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love so, Cleveland. I so, love that so town. You do? Oh, Cleveland's oh cool. Fantastic. All right. Well. Okay. Good. Anyways, you. that's what I think when I say Trace. Where, where should we go on vacation? It's always Cleveland, Cleveland. Ohio. Oh, that's the first one. Cleveland's awesome, oh. man. The flats. Come on. All right. So, Perfect. what's the likelihood of an occurrence like that ever happening? I mean, is that severe I mean, turbulence occur- happens, man? I but mean, to that extent, I haven't had it happen to me since. Okay. Never. I haven't had. It that was the one and only. Thing. And you fly? And you've been a pilot for how long? Uh, professionally yeah. since two thousand. Okay, so it's not like you just started. Have you so. had, you've, have you had a couple that are like that or close to it? What's that? The the, <laughs> tur- the turbulence oh more like that talking about similar to that? No, I have crazy. I've had turbulence, not oh, sure. like that before. I mean, that was that was the worst. That was so. Crazy. What technically is turbulence? What uh, what it's it's disruption of air? It's just it's bad air. Yeah, Trace. Because it always seems to happen in clouds. Is that so? Yeah. That's what that is. Yeah, it's the cloud okay. because it, thunderstorms grow. Right, it's air moving up. And moving down and moving up and that's okay. And that's, yeah, yeah, up so and let's down. Just not fucking fly through the clouds and how about that? Yeah, you, go around the is clouds. there in the sky? How do you avoid it? <laughs> you're, I always you're wonder. You're flying I, the fucking plane. <laughs> Trey, I always look out the window and I'm like, why doesn't he just go right there? There's no yeah, fucking cloud. There's, there's a, a hole right there. There's just a go hole. Go back down, run in there, and come but back right back out. Trey, uh, 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 Tim, excuse me, Tim, tell me if I'm wrong. Sometimes you can. You can, if it's that intense, you can see, you feel, and you can see the pilot going through the cloud, like trying to dodge. Oh yeah, we we do, we dodge them as best yeah, we can. Yeah, but you can't always dodge them all. But some, but and some, you don't always see them all. But sometimes it's an intense dodge, and and it necessary. Oh yeah, you, you feel like it's better to do that than to go through it. Sometimes it's like a pinhole. You've got a thunderstorm, or and there's a pinhole. You just you go through that hole. That's what I. Would that's do. your only. Oh no, shit! Yeah, sometimes that's pretty cool. It can be. A kid, I have it's, a, it's, look. I have a question. Can Trey and I sit in the cockpit? <laughs> I'm on sorry, my lap, the flight deck. No, not well, on your course. lap. Of we'll course, only t- Trey. Only Trey. That that uh, any other any other big ones that have like. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> and he's one of us now. Yes. So, did you know that travelers lose out on over a third of their taste buds during a flight? Oh, <laughs> that, really? I actually, fun fact, I did not know, Trey. Whoa. You didn't know? That? I did not. Whoa, whoa. Know that. So you're saying just at, because of elevation altitude? I don't know. I didn't Does read it come this. back? <laughs> you didn't want that. You know, you didn't need any more facts. You so just, the, yeah, the air becomes dry. The air pressure drops, forces passengers' sense of smell to drop, directly affecting how they judge taste. So they just—that's oh. how they. So you're telling me the diarrhea they, probably smelled worse. Yeah. Or no, it should or maybe have, it smelled um, better. It didn't smell. No, so, no, I meant it would have smelled worse if this wasn't. Oh yeah. True. Well, no, it would have tasted bad. So the senses. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jeez. You grab that chocolate off the floor. <laughs> he says it forces the sense of smell to drop. Oh my god! So, okay, it so it was a bad. fraction of what they thought it was. Yeah, right. diarrhea. Oh my god. So anyway, <laughs> well, I wonder if that's why airplane food is kind of like eh, because it's like why, yeah, why bother? Yeah, maybe it's really good and you just yeah, taste it. You're right. Yeah, maybe it's right? yeah, it's luxury. It's gourmet. Uh, well, let me ask you a question that I've always wondered about. Me? No, oh. I mean I I know you. <laughs> I know all your questions. I know your your answers. <laughs> uh, Tim, sir, as a captain, and, and of course, I know that you're married to a lovely woman, and would never suggest that you were a, a part of this at all. So, is the rumor? Well, not really a rumor. It's just kind of this. this Spit it the fuck this out. This notion that pilots and first officers. Or flight attendants. And flight attendants. Okay. Like, there's just a bunch of hooking up going on. Is that is that true, or is that just kind of like people going, well, 
I don't blame them because they're in the middle of nowhere together and they're all at the hotel and like, let's just. Or it happens. It's true. It's true. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, look at Trey. Brown like, chicken, brown cow. Look, Trey's like, I'm going to be a flight attendant tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm signing up. <laughs> you going to apply? Tim's like, you cannot come on my flight again. <laughs> All right. Uh, Trey. Trey's going to apply. I need some sleep tonight. Quit knocking on my door. <laughs> He's going to apply tomorrow to be a flight attendant. He's going to be like, Didn't you know you say what? you have a queen bed in there? <laughs> Tomorrow, I swear, he's going to be like, Ryan, I've really made a life decision. I think I'm supposed to be a flight attendant. Well, I get to wear those cute little scarves around my my throat. Well, oh. I think that would be mandatory for you. Yeah. I think but I think you would choose to. Yeah. Even if it wasn't mandatory. Okay, I just wanted to know if my that was hurts. true. My face if, hurts. If that was true. Well, <laughs> the bird flying to it? Look. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that was. I didn't know if that was real. You wanted to make no, sure it's it re, it's real. It's right? real. It I happens. Mean, and, and yeah, you're gone for four days. I have. I don't put myself in those situations. Well, and if you're single, like you, you, yeah, either you're looking for it or you're not, right? Yeah, right. Like if if you're happily married, you're not looking for that. And you're not going to put yourself in those situations, right? Which which is what but I, if I don't. If you're I don't single, ever want to be if you're situation. single, you're like, why the hell not? Yeah, you're looking for it, and it's going to happen, right? I mean, it's like anywhere it's, else. Well, it's. You're it's with convenient. the same people for four days, and sometimes you fly with the same people for an entire month. It's convenient, so it gets very comfortable, right? Well, and like I've, I, I swear, and of course, I think it's the creativity in me. I, I look and I'll see on a flight like a way that, you know, the captain kind of looks at the flight attendant. I'm like, oh yeah, they're banging. <laughs> you just like kind of <laughs> tell how he pats her in the ass when she walks by. Yeah. You might <laughs> like give her a little squeeze. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, all right, I bet that something's going on there, yeah. right? <laughs> yes. I'm trying to have a, this ability on the show to segue. <laughs> I don't know. The next time I fly on Tim's flight, I'm going to get a captain's uniform and just fly, <laughs> fly on the flight. <laughs> Say, I'm just I'm connecting flight. You come sit down next to me. You know, nothing. You do that. <laughs> no. I just want to see Tim's face when I walk on with the captain's uniform. <laughs> let's, just get, let's, just both, let's get a couple of captain's uniforms. Yeah. Be like, hello, Gosh. captain. Hello, captain. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'll be your first mate. Yeah. Well, don't they let some people fly up in the no. uh, flight deck? I thought there no. was a chair there that they let. It's called a jump seat. Okay. Well, the, Can we not okay. jump okay. in the seat? <laughs> no, man. You cannot jump so in the seat. So there's a jump seat. Who sits there? Who sits that, in the jump seat? That's for other pilots. That so they, you can the second officer? <laughs> the second. Is there a third officer? Are there air marshals on every flight? Ooh, that's a good question. On every flight, I don't know the ins and outs of the air marshal program. Yeah, they're have not, I had they're not allowed on, to tell you. Have right? I had them on my flights? Yes. Okay. Yep. Do they show you their piece? Mm. When you say peace. Whoa. Can, and can what you, are we talking? Can about? Can you tell exactly? us which flights they're on and not on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what they look like? Hold on, let me get a pen ready. Yeah. No. They, or do they always have mustache? Mustaches, oh. and yeah, yeah, I a little think. short haircut, yeah, little, and the mustache, yeah, a little fuck you mustache uh, on. Yeah, but okay, real quick, Tim, uh, while Trey's taking notes, this is probably the most boring part of the show, but I need to know, and and you can make it quick. I need to know how a plane fucking takes off and doesn't just fall back down. And anybody watching, anybody listening, I'm I'm sorry, but it, it, if the plane is going fast. Which is always fun on the on the runway, you gotta and make it the starts to go up. It starts to go up. First off, I don't know how the the bottom doesn't hit the runway, the back end, but it's pretty talented. If you the guys, tail, the tail, whatever, hits the bottom. But once it starts to go up, yeah. I feel like it's so heavy, it's just going to go back down. So, how is it? Is the engine just that powerful? I mean, I just can't imagine. That's it. It's just there's so much weight. My suitcase alone, just hauling it into the thing. <laughs> Made me feel like, how is the plane going to carry right, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I don't know that you, you you can understand the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. What about me? Uh, yeah, definitely not there. Definitely not me. It's not mm. sexual enough for you. So <laughs> okay. it's just, yeah. No, it, right, it's, so it's you're pretty saying simple. No, it's simple. Oh, it is it's simple. simple. Okay. All right, all right, all right. It's pressure. Mo I, I was going to accept your molecules answer. molecules and pressure, right? When the, when the airplane starts going, it creates lift on the wings. Molecules split. They want, part of the molecule goes on top. Some go on the bottom. High pressure always goes to low pressure. High pressure goes under the wing. It pushes up. You were right, Trey. So you told me. <laughs> huh? Did he really say that? No. Oh. It's gonna be much. <laughs> <Hell no. laughs> but you've got to so, have enough. So that's what you've got to so have enough pressure under the wing. Yeah, it's high pressure under the wing and over and the it wing. Pushes up, and to they low call pressure. it lift. 
It's called lift. And yes. and but but it just but the engines have to create enough right air it, to go over. So the it engines to have to be lift. powerful yes, enough. Absolutely, absolutely. That's so you imp- don't put a little ramp out there. You just <laughs> jump off of the ramp. Don't they do that on uh, aircraft carriers? That's like, like the old top British gun? aircraft carriers. Oh, Top Gun, they did that. F4, they the F fourteen Tomcat. On Top Gun. What are you high? Look, have at, you seen that movie at that all? Eighty-five, not the new one. Yeah, the old. They didn't have the old ramp. Had the ramp. Look. No, they all right, didn't. We're gonna not go, have the look, ramp. You're not going home. We're gonna go look, dude. <laughs> we're gonna go. Look. I've seen that movie like eight hundred times. No I've seen ramp. it eight hundred and one times. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, you missed it on that one yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that extra time, I got it. No, no. We'll, we'll I, I would. I'll ask you about that later because that. I could have sworn. Anyway. There's no ramp, dude. Okay. <laughs> okay, that answered my question because it just feels like, it just feels like, man, it's just that's just so much power, and that's impressive it's to a me. A lot of power. Did you know that the tiny hole <laughs> in the passenger windows helps regulate cabin pressure? Yeah. I didn't even know there was a tiny. hole. You never know. You never seen that hole? little tiny pinhole down no. at the bottom? No. No, I'd freak out. I'd be like, oh shit, the window's about. As to it starts break. cracking. <laughs> I'd be like, why is there a hole? There's Tim, something on the plane. Tim, one time what? I looked something out on the, wing. on the wing and there was duct tape. It's not duct tape, first. <laughs> look, it's, I've seen this. No, no. I'm like, look. TikTok and shit, it's not duct tape. I know, it's scotch tape. I know what, <laughs> I know what duct tape looks like, yeah, Tim. It, I don't have to be a pilot. It's not duct tape. It's called speed tape. It's that frog <laughs> tape that when they paint it, it, there's no little paint creases in there. Anything with tape on a wing doesn't make me feel comfortable. Can that you explain be bad. that? Oh, can you explain that to me? Fuck little, me. Little popsicle <laughs> sticks and stuff in there? Yeah. yeah. Why is there tape on the wing, Tim? Okay. So Any kind of tape. <laughs> scotch tape. Go ahead. Did you say scotch tape? <laughs> scotch tape. It's not duct tape. Okay. All you TikTokers and all you people out there who post videos of the airplane having duct tape oh, on is it. Is that happening a lot? Have you not seen it? No. It's like all over the place. No, this was this happened to me personally, Tim. I know, but I'm just saying I've seen this stuff on these oh. social media sites. Well, so you have plenty of time not. to see t- uh, TikTok, but you want to listen to our fucking right. podcast. It's good, good you point. Asshole. Good point. So go ahead. It's good, more, good point. It's more interesting. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's he is not joke. getting a free t shirt. I, lo- I want a t shirt. Yeah. Come on. He's come paying on. for that bitch. Yeah. It went from t shirt, pin, and coaster to just pin and coaster. Yeah. We'll see what happens from here. Let's go to coaster. I love you guys. I wouldn't be here if I did. Uh, okay. We know, Timmy. Okay. All right. So it's speed tape. It's there because there was a I don't crack know. in the wing. No, there's no crack. It's something that, like, <laughs> not yet, but it's getting there. <laughs> it's starting. Let's I'm not. It a, get there. I, all right. All right. I'll all let you finish. Listen. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll let I, you finish. I'm not a mechanic. Okay. I'll so let you finish. I, this is my, my knowledge. Is this is very surface. Okay. But. That's if, where the duct tape is, yeah. That's on the surface. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> shut up. Tim. Sorry. I'll I mean, shut trade, up. Shut up Tim. Man, I'm sorry. Not, no, man. I'm done. No, no. no. No, it's just, it's there to cover something that's not broken. <laughs> it's not broken. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with the airplane. It's just there. To, the like if they did. <laughs> okay, Trey. Trey. <laughs> there to cover Trey, I actually want to know this answer. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'll, I'll shut, shut up. The fuck I'll up. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would be something that would be covered? <laughs> So, for example, I'll give you an example because this, this, I know this for a fact because I had this happen to me. Graffiti? Or? <laughs> All right. I'm, okay. I'm so sorry. We really, I really do want to know. I really do. Want to know. No, you don't. Have you not. had this question you said? Have I had this question? People have asked you this you said? I've heard people make comments oh, about okay, duct okay. tape on the right. airplane. Yeah. All right. Why is it it's called speed tape? It's called speed tape. Okay. It's actually metallic. Okay. So, what's it covering? It's covering repairs that may have been made, right? Not cr- nothing bad. I'm talking like, okay, listen. I had to have a windscreen, a windshield re- re- replaced. Right? They replaced the windscreen. They put the, they do all the glue. <laughs> just, I'm not. Here's that my was glue. Here's <laughs> it's, it's monkey glue, dude. Come on. <laughs> no, no, gorilla glue. <laughs> gorilla glue. <laughs> and duct tape. Now I'm ready to get on a plane. <laughs> I, hate, I hate you both. Oh, I hate you both. <laughs> it's used to cover something with the glue. I've learned so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, I preface this by saying I'm not a mechanic. Like, I'm trying to just give you Shit. just my surface knowledge. <laughs> But it's not duct tape, and it's not holding Hold anything up. together. <laughs> it's there to protect something underneath it, okay? Oh, my That's God. That's all it's there for. 
Oh my gosh. I can't I've learned so much tonight <laughs> <laughs> that if the wing is about to break, <laughs> There's Gorilla Glue and <laughs> Duct Tape. And speed tape. <laughs> speed, it's, I'm sorry, speed, speed tape. tape. Speed tape. Holy shit. Y'all suck. No. Tim, you guys suck. Tim, I love come the on. Explanation. <laughs> it's covering it's something. It's covering <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why didn't you give me some heads up on the question so I could have done some research on it? Shit. Because oh, of this God. exact moment. <laughs> do you know do you know when people oh. Speed tape. Do you know? When, oh my god! Do you know when uh, you watch oh. the outtakes of a movie and everyone just can't stop laughing, and that's funnier than the movie? Yeah. I'm hoping this is the case, and <laughs> oh people are god. just getting a kick out of this because oh, I, my throat hurts. This is the most we, Tim. This is the most we've laughed in 41. I'm episodes. glad I can be your comic relief. No, it's Thank not. You. No, it's not. But I mean, you can see how you can oh. see how we would. No, it's funny. <laughs> no, it's funny. I know. <laughs> And I'm like, I mean, duh, 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 duh. If, like I don't even know what to say. No, but you should it. You admitted that. But that's the point is that if any pilot looks at me and says, "Oh, that there's glue or <laughs> tape. well, it's just like your car windshield. Something. Like, what do you think they attach it but with? It's not. There's no. You can't put a my bolt. Car, my you car, can't put a bolt through glass. My car is in thirty five thousand feet <laughs> in the air Dude, with this the stuff pressure. Is, it's all like it's all been. It's. It's the okay. It's, it's the same. All right, we can go tape. fly. Then. So is this tape only used for aircrafts and shit like that? Like you can't obviously you can't go to the hard hardware store and just go get this kind of tape. Uh, not that I know of. Okay, I've never so seen is, it at the hardware store. So this is just like <laughs> like space shuttles and yeah, you know. man. This is all like aircraft approved stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna see it at Home Depot. Oh, oh fuck yeah, speed, speed tape. tape. Let's get this shit. Let's get it. This must be. Powerful. But it's not for broken shit. <laughs> you got to put the gorilla glue it's on not, for that, man. <laughs> You have to cover up the graffiti and then use Gorilla Glue. For it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Tim, we yeah. love you. I mean, I, I, I look in all seriousness. <laughs> in all seriousness, I absolutely nobody's ever coming on our show again. I know. I absolutely, and again, I will say in all seriousness, dude, I completely one hundred percent respect what you do, and and. It's one of those uh, careers and one of those, I hate to get all serious and shit, but it's one of those, it's just like if we didn't have you guys, I mean, people wouldn't be able to explore and experience things in the, in, in the world. Right. And, and I'm being serious. No, no, and, I get and, it, yeah. And it's just such a, but it's fascinating to me because there's so much that goes into it. And that's why I, as anybody knows, Trey and Tim and, and our musical uh, writer especially, I have a, a, a. Sometimes I get a little uh, fired up at things, but I usually don't when it comes to this because I, I I know how detailed and how much it must suck to deal with so many people, and it's not just as easy as like, why are we not taking off? <laughs> like, why are we sitting here? It's <clears throat> not. It, there's more to it, and you need, everyone needs to just shut the fuck up. Well, I can imagine unless much- there's diarrhea involved <laughs> coming down the road. Yeah. But I can, and I can only imagine how much shit that they deal with yeah. in a flight deck. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. That you, we don't even know about. You want You know, to there's probably shit that they figure out and fix well, sure, and all of kinds course, of shit of that, that we don't ever know about. Well, so. they, that's why they, there's a lot of uh, delay, little mechanical issues. And I, even though they're probably so minor, Tim, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, I always wonder if, like, how how minor like is this a serious mechanical issue or are they usually just really no it's easy? like 99.9% of the time it's super minor it's like, just it's something just, it's something typically that you don't even need oh okay you know it's like it's just it's put it so little <laughs> just in case <laughs> Just, 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 yeah, just in case. Just in case. No, it's something that you wouldn't yeah. need to, to be safe. You wouldn't need. You could successfully fly and land the plane. Right. And a lot of the systems are redundant too. So just because right. one breaks, you still have another one. You, you, yeah, it's Back fine. up it's, and all kinds yeah. of shit. Like oh, that. I like that. There should be seventeen systems <laughs> in case they all, you know, for safety. Because again, my anxiety flying a plane, uh, uh, not flying a plane, but being in a plane, yeah, a commercial plane is like not knowing what's happening up front. It, you you feel a little bit of this, or you hear the, those fucking dings. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why? Or you it? hear the pilot say, "Oh shit, <laughs> <But> <laughs> what that, the fuck was that?" <laughs> but, but to, to me, that, that's why I fly. Uh, but when I when I've flown, um, and I'm going to segue into this tray. It, when I've I've been fortunate enough to fly private a few times, 
And when I fly private, the captains are always like, let us know if you need anything. I mean, they, and you can see them. So the only time I'm going to worry is if I look up there and they're like, <laughs> like, oh you see God. him shut the door? <laughs> or like, yeah, you guys look that, you know, look that way, or you know, or, or uh, drink a little more, please. Right. And, and so for me, it's not knowing uh, what's going on up there. But at the same time, I get it. You can't. I'm going to ask you a question, Tim. I, I was I was debating asking you this. Does that have to do with duct tape again? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, no, but I'm going to watch that segment <laughs> over <laughs> again because it was that funny. But let me ask you a question. And this is intense. Are you okay with that? Let me take my glasses off again. Oh, All right. shit. Let's do it. This is intense as a as somebody that fears flying and, and, and has a very vivid imagination. Should we hold hands during this? No, no. That makes it worse. <laughs> so if for some reason, let's say there was some sort of a big issue and... The descent was uh, not, it was a little short of where it was supposed to be. Let's just say, you know, you're, you're going to make a crash landing. And you know you're going to make a crash landing. Do you or do you not get on at some point on the intercom and let everybody know what's happening? What would you? Or is, that is that up to you? Call is, that is that up? That to, yeah, protocol. is that a judgment call, or is that something that the the airline? Uh, I has think in that situation. I mean, every situation is different, right? But I mm -hmm. think in that situation, if it's that bad, you're so busy, you don't have time to get on the PA and say, "Right, hey, gentlemen, we just lost both engines and my gear, and the tail's falling off, and the duct tape but isn't what working about anymore." <laughs> <laughs> you don't have time. So We're going down. Well, I like tell the you what, like, is you, you, the tail is falling off. People will already. Well, they'll they're probably flying out the out. back. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it's. But but I guess my question: the first officer couldn't do it. Um, a flight attendant couldn't do it because it's, it's not knowing that freaks me out. If you if someone came on, look, I don't want this. If somebody say, do you want to know they're no, going down though? No, I do. That's what I'm saying. I want to know what's happening. So if there's an issue, and, and what I don't want is at the very end. Where you got five seconds and it's like, oh, brace for brace for crash landing. <laughs> what the fuck? No, my 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 whole. I want thing time is, to think and process what's happening. My whole thing, and I've always been this way. I always try and communicate exactly what's going on to the passengers. And I love that. And I feel like because people want that, they need that, like you do. People yeah. want that. They want to, especially if it's something little. Like, what about you, Trey? Like, do you want you get, that, or you don't? You'd rather just be like, just take me down. <laughs> Well, and kind of to his point, the last thing I want him worried about is making me feel better. I want him saving my fucking ass. Right. You know, yeah. don't don't get on the intercom and be like, you know what? We're working through some shit up here. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, ask but, your, your flight attendant for another drink and we'll be right but, back with you. But can it, I mean, can't the first officer or, like, or somebody go really fast? Just be like, guys, we're, we're, we're working on it. We're doing our best. Hey, let's be honest. Anytime we make a PA... Nobody's listening to what we're saying. Anyway. I listen to every fucking time. Do I'm you telling really? you, I do, and it's because I'm nervous. Well, that it cuts the movie off too. People get pissed. When it's on the, the movie, off. you're right. When the airplane, it's like, uh, yeah. I'm just like, son of a bitch. What do you have to say? Yeah. <laughs> but I, but I do. I listen. I mean, I'll stop it even if it didn't. And I, if I, even if I'm watching my laptop, I mean, I, I take my headphones off and I'm and I'm and then half the time you can't hear it because it's loud. The Central engine or muffled right in front of the fucking engine. Yeah. It's like, hey, we're calling you. This is not a different. And I'm just like, <laughs> your wife is snoring. You're like, shut up. I'm like, did I just hear there was a problem with the engine? Yeah. <laughs> is that what he said? <laughs> and my wife will be like, no, she, he just said, uh, enjoy your flight. And right. Good. Yeah. So uh, I was just curious that that. No, came... I, yeah. If if it's if it's that bad though, there's probably you're probably not going to get details. You're going to be like, folks, this is what's happening. Really? Yeah. But we're going to talk to the flight attendants and they're going to prepare everything. Dennis Leary, do you remember him? Yeah. He used to, he did a joke once and he's like, uh, if I was a pilot and and we knew we were going down, you would look up, you would get on the intercom and say, uh, folks, uh, light him up because we're going down. <laughs> like, you know, for smokers and non-smokers, you know, the whole thing and. And it, and I can't decide whether I would I would want that, how long I'd want to process that, or if I would want to to not know. But if you if you're outside and you're seeing this happen and you're looking out you're the window, know. you're gonna, you're gonna know. know. But to what extent? I mean, I mean, are, there's got to be protocol for how to take a plane into a into a quote unquote crash landing where you could uh, uh, survive. 
Or, or, or into mean, the uh, water, which actually terrifies me more because the fucking orcas. Yeah, right? <laughs> orcas scare you? <laughs> well, if he, well, if Tim had listened to our show. Yeah. I'm I've been sorry. doing this whole bits about orcas because they're all over and crazy shit with the orcas is happening. They're like attacking boats. Okay. Anyway, sharks and all. I didn't want to crash the middle of the ocean. I'd rather, I don't know. And the people are like, would well, you rather crash on land? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Water's scary. I don't like water either. No. I, yeah. if, I, if I had to Just offshore. Down, just yeah, just offshore. Yeah, the the oceans. Yeah, too big and deep. Have you flown overseas? Like when you say overseas, like over the water, or well, like over not, no, to a not country? over, not over Lake Louisville. <laughs> 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 I'm talking about over, like over. I've been over the Gulf. Over okay, over the where Gulf, where you can't see land, right? Um, but, but have you gone across the Atlantic? No, not yet. Not. You're going to I have because no, I have you're, no desires. You're, you're, yeah. Oh, you don't. So if somebody came to you and said, we're promoting you to the 787. That's a thing, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. <laughs> it's a number. <laughs> I tried to, did, I, did I sound like I knew it? Yeah. Over, and you, you're going to start doing Europe, or you're going to start doing whatever. Would you do Australia? I mean, I, I, that's a I, long-ass I, flight. You definitely sleep during that. D- <laughs> Well, those flights, they have relief crews, and there's bunks. They're actually beds. I don't know if I want a relief. For the pilot. Anything called a relief crew. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I want you the rather- team out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want the B squad. <laughs> no. <laughs> but get your ass the back in there. The needs to get that coffee going. Oh, my <laughs> anyway, gosh. But would you, have you, you've never had an interest in, I don't in know. Europe? Australia is a whole, that's a whole different ball game. What about when like, all the kids are out of the house? Would you like no. to? I have no, no interest. Would you Anything like over to fly two hours? It? My ass hurts so bad. <laughs> yeah. Two hours, like I can't do it anymore. So those seats just, are it hurts. comfortable. No, I don't know if that or I just got my a little next, ass. And it's just, you know, it's just there's not enough cushion in the yeah, cushion back no, there. I don't know. My, my next four no cushion for the push. My next four hour flight, an hour, two and a half to three. I'm going to be like, oh, I bet our captain's uncomfortable. Yeah. Right? His, ass, his hurts. ass is hurt. His ass is numb. Like maybe we should relieve him. And make ask sure ask the flight attendant. Can you ask how his yeah, ass is doing yeah. for us, please? Yeah, I need him in full focus when we land. Exactly. Anyway, well, good stuff. Um, let's let's move on. So I was curious with all the the bullshit going on with guns and stuff like that. Um, are you allowed to carry a weapon? Ooh, good as question. A, I like that question. As a pilot, a regular gun, not like a machine gun. Well, because I, you know, <laughs> I, when I see you guys come through the regular, you know, TSA stuff, the security and stuff like that, I've never seen somebody stop. And so, well, there there, there is a federal <clears throat> program where pilots can go to training to do that. If they if they choose if they choose to they're yes. not forced they're not forced to on any in, in, as far as your knowledge in any uh, company nobody's forced to no it's all volunteer who do you see many other pilots that do carry on occasion yeah yeah will you admit to your what you do what do I do or or would you rather not say what? you don't you don't have to say what do I do have you gone through the program oh I have not you've not gone through I the have any not. interest no um you know I had interest when it first started. Do you think that that's? Uh, a, do you think it's a good idea? I, I, I honestly, I, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. You know, as long yeah. as you're properly trained. Well, sure. Is it the only? Is it only the pilots, or can flight attendants do it? It's only the pilot. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. All of a sudden, it's well, a I mean, the flight out. attendant, but I mean, the flight no, attendant is going to be closer to the situation most no, I get cases. It. So it's just I was like, curious. all of a sudden, it's just a shootout. I just visualize. Yeah. You know, it's more about. Flying. It's all about protecting the cockpit, right? flight deck. You said oh, cockpit. It. This tray's right here. I love that, it. that makes sense. No, I, I, I'm all for the program. I think it's a great program. Yeah. You know, they're being trained by federal so, officers to do this. So yes or no, you, are you, do you plan to do it I, ever? I, I, no, I don't. I, you know, I had a lot of interest in it at first, especially right after 9-11 when the program was started. Well, sure. Because that was very fresh. That was a long time ago. It was very fresh though, right? It still is. It's still, like, it, it's still always So it started line. because of 9-11? It's how I had started, oh, yeah. wow. I didn't know. I thought, I thought maybe it had been long, like, a longer no um but i have so much confidence right now in like they've made so many changes to the flight deck door and the procedures and all there's they've made so many changes and they've grown so much since do they i don't did they use duct tape for the flight (laughs) 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 did they use speed tape it's stronger so they can't get in well that's what i'm saying yeah so fuck yeah let me ask and gorilla glue that combo is yeah there's no way you're getting through that so is that door is y'all's door bulletproof then Ooh, that's a good question Sorry, you're got Trey's got good questions, doesn't he? My, uh, so are you not allowed to say? If you're not allowed, to, I, the only reason I'm asking is because yeah, if security something is a tricky thing. Like you can't really, you don't want to share a lot. Of stuff, <clears throat> okay, because right? I'm fair enough. And the only reason I'm asking, and maybe you can answer this a different way, then is if things go down in the in the cabin, 
obviously you guys want to be able to handle things to where you can get the plane down safely. So is there, I mean, can somebody do legit damage to where it can mess with you guys getting that plane down safely? It, I mean, I can't speak on security. Right. Okay. Fair that's that's something fair. I can't do. No, that's fair. Yeah. 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 Okay. Trey, Trey, calm down over there. I'm sorry. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I mean, and you guys don't want me to, right? No, I mean, no. You want, no, you're no, right. You want right. these airplanes to be safe. And yeah. No, absolutely. we, we, we wanna, don't need absolutely. things out there that shouldn't be out. That there, makes sense. So. Yep. And the only reason I ask is because here recently there was a woman, if you listen to our show, um, she actually... I listened s- to the first seven episodes. <laughs> I love how many times have we said, yeah. if you would listen to the show, Tim. I did. Fox she first actually seven. That was smuggled... A big deal. Out of 41. Go ahead. Now, I know the airport <laughs> is more secure, but she actually smuggled a weapon in her fat fold <laughs> into a, out. Right. a baseball at a, game. At a Shaw- yeah, White she, Sox game. The, yeah. the, the metal detector went off multiple times, but because of the size of this woman, they, they didn't know what to look if for. If they had the tabs on the metal detector... Well, she would have well, to buy a second seat. That's true. About the, yeah, yeah. I mean, so I can see at the White Sox game. <laughs> Imagine if they implemented that at sports yes, games. Yes. Sorry, ma'am. Mm, yeah, buy another seat. Mm, buy another seat. That's but an it, extra nine bucks in that, the nosebleed section. They said that she went through multiple times. It kept setting off the detector, you know, but they didn't know what else to check, you know? So it's oh like, my and you can't be like, I mean, you can't. You, what are you yes. going to say as you the can't. guy? You're going to yeah. be like, can you lift up your fat? But I'm assuming, oh. I'm assuming at the airport, they would have taken her to a room. Checked her there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. They. I mean, you, you see that all the time, right? They've yeah. got. They even give you the option if you go through that little machine and they see something. They're like, "Do you want a private screening?" Or yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, but but so, how do you feel about guns overall, though? Just real fast, real fast, because uh, as far as what? Well, just anything. I. Sub- beca- I, I suppose because you're telling me like you're I'm not going to do the program. I own guns. I'm. A, I, you I own like, guns. So like so them. you don't. You're not going to do the program for the plane, but you're. You own guns uh, on the on on land on the ground in my, <laughs> on land. Yeah, I yeah, I do. I okay, do. I do. You know, we did an episode about guns. I was in the first seven. I was a little, <laughs> I was a little upset with a Trey. long time ago. You were upset with Trey. Yeah. Ooh, what Trey, did I do? Trey had a lot of mis. Whoa, this yeah? see, hold on. This this, this is what our listeners want to hear. You were upset with Trey on his, you say, misinformation. I, th- I think I texted you too. Like, what the hell was that, man? Okay, that was. Did you? Can you, you give me? What you're talking can can about. you give me one example? Do you remember? I wanted there was something about automatic weapons and people owning automatic weapons. Right. Yes. And you made the reference to AR whatever. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it, it drove me nuts, man. Whoa! <laughs> Look at me shaking. <laughs> I don't man. even know. I don't even know how to say it. So. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm frightened now. Just you, if you want to, just go over there and slap him, oh, and then we man, can no. end the show. But you saw how frustrated he got with the duct tape. It's not. It, 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 it's not just you. Like a lot of people, they 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 hear these words in the media. They don't actually do their own research. Gotcha. And they just hear stuff and they yeah, just Trey. assume that it's right. Right. A lot of people call anything AR-15. Okay. Do you know what AR stands for? Is that not? Uh, hold on. Oh, come on, I dude. did really. <laughs> well, I want to say it's a it's an automatic rifle, but that's not right, is it? That's, that's what a lot of people think. But right, that's, not, that's not right. I remember. Oh. I, I did oh, look shit. that that's up. That's what I thought. It was. That's not right. <laughs> oh, Ryan. <laughs> Yeah, oh it's God. it's not an automatic rifle, but no, no I don't uh, remember what it assault is. Assault rifle. No, man. Auto- assault. I Arma Arma light rifle. It's a manufacturer of a gun. Okay. AR is a ma- Samsonite. Is a- <laughs> Swami. That's what I mean. So I, mean so I was way off. Armalite. And Armalite. It, and it's a what? manufacturer R? rifle. Armalite. No, no. Rifle oh, so Armalite AR. So the 15, okay. Armalite rifle 15. AR 15. If you remember, like growing up, you watched the old movies, Vietnam movies. Right, and right. And they're carrying those black guns with that looks like a handle. Yeah. That's an, that's an, a, that's an actual Armalite rifle. Okay. Okay. That's what they are. So, so I guess you my- can't just say everything's an AR 15. Every every gun out there is is a certain caliber, okay? Right. So, two two. So there are a lot two, of ARs. Arma Arma no, Arma Light is a manufacturer. For example, I own. If I showed you a picture, you would think like you, you would probably like, you like guys would Ruger, probably call it Ruger. Ruger's a manufacturer. Like I know, I know Ruger. Winchester's a manufacturer. Winchester. Colt forty five. No. Colt is a manufacturer. Yeah. <laughs> Panther Arms is a manufacturer. <laughs> There's a lot Colt of different Ford. manufacturers Colt that make 45. these guns. It's the style. That you're looking at, and okay. everybody seems to call Fair it an enough. AR. But those guns are no different just because it looks like a military style gun. I did the air quotes for those that aren't watching. It doesn't Everyone's mean watching. that it's any different than that 
style of wood grain rifle that you would see somebody hunting with. So for yeah. someone saying, if someone says AR rifle, they're, that's just, they're speaking incorrectly. They're speaking incredibly incorrectly. Okay. Yeah. So they, if someone says assault rifle, that's what they mean. Assault rifle. But if you say AR-15... But, what is, 15 an, or, but what is an assault rifle? What does I, that I don't, mean? I don't know. I'm asking you. It doesn't mean anything. Okay. Every gun is... And you can what make about anything... A hunting rifle assault? could be an what, assault no, rifle. No, no, no. I think what everybody means is automatic. There, yeah, that was in there too. And, Automatic, and right? You, are you pointing at me for being right? I'm pointing at you both for being wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if we had all our listeners on, we get that a lot. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> do your own research. Do, do your own, <laughs> do your own research. Automatic, what, what, whatever. Automatic. It doesn't mean you. I think can, you can't just own an automatic rifle. It, it, it's just you can't. Yeah, but I, ha- kind of I know. I know plenty of I friends know, that have. I, I do. I and know some license. people too. Now I'm not saying that people don't do it illegally. Oh, no, 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 but I know people that have done it legally, and what do you have to go through? Like, a lot? I heard it's a process. It's okay. I haven't done it. I don't know. All right. I don't... I don't. So your big issue is the fact that we were just tossing around, like, AR and assault rifle the and terms, things like that. And people, like that. Terms, yeah. and people will say assault rifle is bad. You know, we need to ban assault rifles. Well, yeah. you're well, saying, well, what does that even mean? An assault rifle, because what I'm saying is it may look like a military-style weapon to any to anybody, but that just because it looks that way, it doesn't act any differently than the one that's in wood when a wood grain casing, right? It, they they're, they're all semi-automatic rifles. Which right. You pull the trigger, it shoots. You let go, you have to pull it again for it to shoot again. It doesn't matter but what that's it looks qu- like. You can do it quickly. That's the argument. But you can do that with anything, right? You can okay, do it with enough. a you can do it with a twenty two. You can go, you know. It doesn't matter. That's that exactly what a twenty two sounds like. Yeah. By the way, it's 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 kind of a pingy thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, so when uh, you know, Alexandro Cortez, what's her AO, AOC, AOC uh, gets all angry and says, "Hey, let's we need to ban all these assault weapons." What is she really saying? That's or is it more the automatic weapons though? But she says, "I mean, they well, that's a good question. Don't what they is that say mean? assault?" There's no definition of assault. What, what's an assault rifle? Because okay. the one that, like I said, you may may look like a military style weapon, but it doesn't do anything different than any other gun out there. That's a semi-automatic well, rifle sure, that doesn't look like well, a military style rifle. Like it's just it's stupid. Tim, what about the guns from like the Civil War where you had to like the musket and the ball? The and you musket, cram it in. Yeah, there? that's a little different than well, it. Let's is. talk about that a little bit more. <laughs> Yeah. In, there in case you, have, if you haven't fallen asleep yet, let's talk about the Civil War and the type of <laughs> weapon weaponry. No, no, but in all ser- for what you're saying now is that there are plenty of weapons and plenty of guns that are able to do what people are claiming the automatics do. Yeah, they, they think that anything that looks like it's military is an yeah. automatic weapon. Well, that's an interesting right? debate because pistols, I never thought about just the visual aspect of it. Well, that's and I think the visual is what scares people. They see this gun and they think, yeah. oh, but if you put that same gun and just change right. out the casing and put it in a in a wood type, sure, you know, like you're going out hunting, right? You know, like you just keep I, a you hunting know, rifle. That's they would it, would it wouldn't be scary to them. Anymore. Well, and I'm wondering, is it more the fact that they're worried about the fact you can just pull the trigger and just mow down somebody. That's that, But that's what they claim. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Is that what more people are worried about is what's the need of having an automatic? That's what they're claiming. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what the need of it is. Because um, I've got buddies of mine live in beautiful areas, suburban neighborhoods. But that's not what it's about. We've but, talked about this. And they're, they, they I, I want to protect my family. Okay, well, mm. cool. I've never seen, I mean, in my 44 years of living, you I've never seen a... can protect your family a, with a, well, I've never seen Pistol. a zombie yeah. apocalypse. I've never seen a government overthrow. I've never seen any point where uh, we don't live in gangland, you know? So right. it's like, right. what do you need the automatic weapon for? And that's kind of what well, was my even, question for. Even, even I was never in the military, but from people I've talked to, they don't even, there's an option for them to click it to automatic, right? But they right. don't use that because it's not even accurate. Right. They typically have it on a burst or, or a single semi automatic type style so that they can aim shoot aim shoot yeah but automatic the wrong hand yeah then, right. you know but and they don't from, give a shit if it's accurate they're just fucking shooting you know well but you have to be accurate to hit stuff right well i mean if you're just unless you're going just like proud. this if you're, mo- yeah, if yeah. you're mowing people yeah. down yeah well that's why there's licensing for that stuff right? but but i mean but that's their con- that's what that's what they're saying is that if you can just kind of go you're going to hit people in a crowd <clears throat> excuse me and so that's that's the 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 issue is is automatic is the right way and not assault. If you say automatic, that's different. That's different. So you say an automatic weapon 
now you're hearing that's what they want. Let's ban. We need to ban this. And my comment to Trey in the past has been, all right, so there's there's other methods besides automatic weaponry. There's if somebody wants methods. to wants to hurt a lot of people, yeah, uh, you know, throw a bomb in the crowd. Just, <laughs> they can use their car. Well, that's yeah. what I'm saying, and that's that's the argument to you know, okay, we're not going to ban guns. I get that. Why don't we focus on the mental health of some of these people? You know, well, like how do we get to this point yeah, where Trey gets the mental? I health. decide that's where that's what I've always argued is yeah. the mental aspect of it. When are we going to look into that? Because that's, obviously, when these gun issues happen, somebody gets shot up. It's oh well, the guns is what killed them. Well, no, this this person got bullied, got whatever, yep. they've got mental issues, and that's that but was that's their out. Not, that's not what they want to talk about. They want yeah, to talk about they the want to talk about the gun. Everything has to be politicized, right? Yeah. right? Everything is a political issue right. because somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose. Yeah. There's, and, there's and the it, problem it, that's never a great way solved. to put it. Every In every issue. Every issue. It's not about just the election, win or lose. It's if we if you and I are sitting here right now, we had uh, our, one of our first guests, I think she might, she might have been our first guest uh, of... A woman named Jess, and she's very opposite of you in a lot of views, and 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 that's the point is that if you guys were sitting here, I fe- I feel like it would be about who's going to win, and that's that's the problem with everybody else out there is that everybody's like, well, who's going to win this argument? Well, it's not about winning and losing; it's about coming to a a rational solution. But the last <laughs> oh, um, shit. Well, there are two quick things. Last thing is uh, anybody that knows and listens to the show knows that we've talked about you, Tim. Did you know that? We've talked about you. Well, I've listened to the first seven episodes. (laughs) It hasn't been then. It's been recent. About your fantasy football victory last year. Yeah. Oh, it was so sweet too, wasn't it? Look how excited. He didn't care about anything else tonight except for fantasy football. Oh, my gosh. So tell me exactly what your strategy was in last year's draft. (laughs) As we all sat together, sure. And and, it's a simple. Uh, it's a very simple. It's a strategy. simple strategy. And, because and look, you f- made fun of me at the beginning of the no, no, show no. for it. No, no, football, uh, uh, fantasy football is taken very seriously, and we have listeners that want to know how to win. And you won last year. All right, I'm going to tell. So you, tell it's, us. It's a really big it's, secret, and it's very. It's specialized. a big secret. It okay, a big secret. Go so ahead. It's a very specialized way of doing things. You do it by. Uniform colors. <laughs> You're right. And names. And names of the players. Names of the players. <laughs> like It's that simple. But what? So a name that you like or a name that you think uh, fits the position well? or No. For example, last year for my kicker, I picked Matt Gay. Matt Gay. Yeah. And he, he I, know no, I knew nothing about him at the time other than his last name was Gay. I <laughs> thought that was fantastic. You you like that? I like. He was that. flaming hot. But but I mean, why would not in a like a not not in a make fun way? I just think that guy, his last name is Gay. He's probably overcome a lot of ridicule. Oh, in his you life. think? Oh, you and think he's, he's able to, to that's perform he's because a, yes. he's dealt with a lot. That was my thought last year. This oh. guy's name, like I've got a last name. We're not going to say it, but I've got a last name that right. people. And you know, oh, absolutely, I've made fun of, right? You absolutely. know, too. Yeah. I would do anything to say it, but I oh, won't. there's so many variations. We can. Yeah. That's another five minutes of just laughing. Yeah, it's <laughs> Train. so I get it. We'll right? laugh. We'll do five minutes of laughing after the yeah. show. So I picked him. I knew nothing about him. It turns out he's like the best kicker in the NFL. Right. Okay. Look at his performance last week. He did. He got, look he got how, me like twenty points. Look how intense he is. It was fantastic. It. Right. Okay. So that uniform colors. Uniform. Okay. Who's your favorite uh, team based on uniform? Do you have one? I remember what you used to say it was back it used in high to, school. It used to be the Chargers. Yeah, the Chargers. You they like had the, that you blue like and the, the lightning. The lightning. Yeah, yeah man. That was okay. fantastic. Fair enough. Absolutely. You can't argue that. We it can't was argue. Fantastic. No. Right. I, and it was just that simple. And that, you, you, but you, already, said, but you said it used to be. So what is the current? Well, now it's the Bengals. I love the Bengals. They got a oh. they got a pretty cool uniform, right? And plus, that's I love, like one of my rival teams. I love though. Joe Burrow. Too. Uh, well, I mean, what did you think about the white the white helmets with the, the oh he, black? Did, he didn't watch it every week. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. No, I watch every week. <laughs> you do? I do now. Did I you got, see, it, yeah. because of the fantasy? So you saw their uniforms last night. I did the all white. Uh, what did you think? I didn't like them. You, didn't, you really you want one of the black and the orange? Yeah, I like the more in your face. Yeah, like stuff. You know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Cincinnati. I just, I can't, I just, I can't like Cincinnati. Why? But good for you. Because I, I, they're our, one of our rivals uh, as a Steeler I, fan. 
Trey actually likes the Steeler uniforms. I do. Unfortunately, I do. Yeah. Yellow pants, black Chargers. But I am very much a Charger. I like the Charger uniforms, too. So. Yeah, I, you know, if I had to choose one uniform, I'm not sure who it would be. Maybe that'll be our <laughs> next next show <laughs> conversation. But so you use names and uniforms. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay, look. And who who won? Who won last year? The you, whole thing? Yeah, that, well, that's true. And that's why we laughed at this year's draft. I told Trey this year, I reminded him that you told me, I'm looking as you pick, for this year's draft and it was like the same players as last year and, I, much, and yeah. I texted you i texted you and i was like this is almost the same team it was a different year you're like hey they 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 took it they took me yeah, there last year me. so here we go if you win again i'm gonna go for those same players <laughs> next year and i'm gonna try and beat you too. man joe burrow's gotta get it guys get the injuries under control like, yeah he he'll be all right me. he'll be all right so, he'll be all right i can't depend on that um real fast like real fast, we do a segment every show. <laughs> if you fucking listened, that's called. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's called uh, an awareness of self awareness. Yes. And what we do is we basically bitch about people that need to be more self aware. And I thought maybe you would have something in the airline industry. Me have to of a passenger, a flight attendant, a stewardess, a flight attendant, flight attendant, uh, yep. uh, and and your first mate. Uh, first, first officer. <laughs> it's not a boat, man. First mate. <laughs> and that or somebody, some way in your job, in your profession that has caused, that, that makes you go, God, they need to be more self-aware. Do you have anything like that? So I love my passengers, right? I, know, <laughs> I, I love them. All, every passenger? I mean, I love them. Okay. <laughs> I, it sounds like he's been told the same. I mean... <laughs> I'm that just, was that I, was part of the, the training manual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna say it, okay? Do it. Walking through the terminal, right? People You're not first, even in the plane. You're no, talking about I'm in the talking airport. About in the airport, in the terminal, walking to your gate. Okay. If you're not gonna walk at a decent pace, get to, oh. get to the side. Yeah. And please don't just stop in the middle of Whoa. the just stop. Trey. They just stop. Oh my gosh! These sound right these sound familiar, don't I they? Remember that, yeah. Both of us. You said Tim, the same thing. Timmy, we've said this in the past. The, the, it's like a group of people, a family or somebody stops in the middle and they're like, "Let's let's talk about let's catch up." Or yeah, the, it let, is in the exactly. middle of the walk. Or the kid is acting up, so we're going to stop right here in the middle of everybody. <laughs> we're going to beat the shit out of little Jimmy real quick, yeah. and and then move on. And everybody's got to part the seas to yeah. go around yeah. these. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's insane. Yeah. So there's that one. That's my big one. Yeah, that, the that's, second that's, one. That's a big one. I mean, and that's lines all over the place. If you yeah. don't congregate in the middle of a damn line, it's like people are walking, people yeah. got to get places. Like yeah. get out of the way. Yeah. Especially like, the pilot. Be self aware. Be self aware. Right. Self aware. Well, that's the name of the segment yes Tim. sorry no that's, <laughs> i thought it just popped in my head but especially if you have a uniform on like tim does move the fuck the out of the way out of the way like people, this man through yeah, yeah. yeah it's just that's not how it works but <laughs> so i've got to my second one a lot of people will think that it probably should have been my first one but it, it's not because the people in the way gets really bother me but <laughs> so i travel uh, yes i fly the airplane but a lot of times i'm in the back too right what does that mean? It means I'm flying in the back of the airplane as a passenger going. Oh, oh, you're just back okay. Somewhere. You're riding. Yeah, I, I riding. thought you were fly, I thought they had maybe a back cockpit. No, I'm just <laughs> like this is news to me. <laughs> like like a train. Are you fighting each <laughs> other in the back. front? And you're trying to okay. Anyway, so oh, so I'm, I'm riding in the back. I'm just okay. kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> I think I think an airplane is the last place on earth where all social anything goes totally out the door. Right. Okay. Social anything. Explain. You are because you, I mean you are you are so close to each other, right? right. You, I mean you're packed in. You're, you're close. You know. you're, you're sitting next to a stranger. Your legs are touching. Your arms are touching. Oh yeah. Like Trey love likes those G moments. Trey likes that. That's the only reason I fly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't. We when we fly together, we don't get a ticket next yeah. week. <laughs> so people, people, I think people in these situations feel that there's so many people. They're close together, and they fart. Oh, I've done that, and they oh. don't stop, <laughs> and they don't stop. Of course, you have. Nobody right. knows who it is, right? Because yeah. oh, you just well, look yeah, around. it's easy. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh my, what, it's who like, did, did that? you smell that? Who did that? He, look, even I, and I, and I'm embarrassed. Even when people don't know who it is, I don't like to do that. But when I've done it before, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Did you smell that? And you're just looking around, and of course, when I'm with my kids, it's really oh, you blame the kids. When I'm like, I'm sorry, you know. (laughs) Dinner smells good tonight. I swear, my three, I my three year old goes bullshit, Dad. (laughs) (laughs) Was it me? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. He points at me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, that's the worst. And you can't get away from it. And it just keeps going oh, and going. Well, and going. but it's you're like, in Oh, a, my gosh. You're a confined space. That airplane is a tube. It's a tube. But you wouldn't, people wouldn't normally do that anywhere else. But for some reason, it's rampant. Yeah. Sure. The plane. Why? Do either of you take uh, take shits on the plane? I have before. I have. Well, I know you. I know you have. I have <laughs> never, ever. I can't. That. You're I right. Can't I'm with either. you. I'm with you. Even so... My body and my s- pooping cycle. <laughs> <laughs> pooping cycle. It's very regimented. This is why we have a pilot on the show. Right. Dude, the pooping cycle. Yeah, it is very regimented. Like, I've got a certain time, oh, okay. a certain place okay. that well, I have to be for it to happen. And if I'm not there, it doesn't happen. So mm. when I leave to go fly. Well, yours is about timing. Mine, my, it, my, no, my, my, my body is time and place. I have to be at home. Yep. And it has to be between the right. hours of seven and seven thirty in the morning. Oh, whoa. Well, yeah. that's the home field <laughs> advantage. Yeah. Yeah. I, it, yeah. If, but that's real detail. It's, yeah. that's, oh, it is. Thir- it's what if weird. it's seven thirty six and you haven't? You're like, Dude, oh shit. And no it's matter. Better. So I leave on a trip. I, I can't poop at a hotel. Mm. I can't do it. Oh, really? No. So I'll be gone for four days, and I, I can go the entire time. No man, even no matter how what? much I physically want to do it between seven Dude, and seven thirty. That's not healthy. I my body will not let it happen. It's not healthy. As soon as I get home, <laughs> God, game it's over. Done. It's all you're, cleaned out. Your man. wife, your wife, wow. like, your it's wife, your wife's like, let me know four hours later. Like, <laughs> let me know. It is. It is. No weird. wonder he hasn't been on the show. He's <laughs> all blocked up. Man. He's busy taking his shit. Dude, I can't. Four days, man. Yeah. No, that ain't happening for me. If I'm but, lucky enough, and I don't, and I and I leave after seven thirty to go to the airport, and I can get it done that first day, then it's only. That's days. so interesting. A hotel. I, hotel, I can't I have do no it. problem in a hotel. I can't do it. To me, I get it's eat. the airline. It's the bathroom in the airline. Yeah, well, that's just, yeah, no. Like, well, Trey and I were talking, people like bang in there and stuff. They do? Was that a, oh, that's a good question. Real I don't quick. Know. And we'll, I, I don't we'll know. end on that. We'll end on that. Trey, do you have anything else tonight? No. Let's end on that. Mile High Club. What do you think as a, as a pilot, as a captain, do you think that happens more than people think? I, I would, I mean, yeah. Just, no, I mean, you're on it. I mean, be honestly, be, or be honest. It probably does. Have you joined the Mile High Club? Oh. Not. Oh, no. and see, neither have you. I haven't either. No. You haven't? Mm. Well, you, he said that you can't. Uh, I don't Masturbating count. yourself doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> no, so. no, it doesn't count. You no. have to, there has to be some. Especially since y'all caught me, but last There time has to be there. another woman or man. Oh. <laughs> That takes care of business. You have to enter an orifice. But I figured that actually happens. I think it's a thing. I really believe that if I see a, a like a woman get up and go, and then a minute later some other dude and, and he, you know, I'm like okay, the bathrooms are thinking. so fucking tight though. Yeah, they're tight. Uh, but well, pff, you deal with it. Yeah, that's true. You, you, ha- you kind of have to be close to each other when you're, you know. Yeah, not that I wouldn't want to, but yeah. That shocks me that you haven't had the experience. <laughs> I haven't. Why? Let's talk about because he's had every fast. other experience. Why is that? Okay. All right. Let's. Yeah. Why is that not? Why does that shock you? I want to know. Lifestyle club. <laughs> oh. So you've listened to more <laughs> than you let on because the lifestyle club came later than uh, did. The, anyway. Well, I've hung out with Trey outside I, of the I, show. I, I, so I, I'm, I'm joking. Uh, Tim, this has been so much fun, dude. I had a good time. Um, I hope you had a good time. I did. I hope you come back. I, I no expectations on when, but at but some yes, point, I do hope you do come back. Yes. Yeah, this was this was a blast. And, and all you uh, have to do is let us know if you have some time. Say hey, I'd like to jump on the yeah. Show well, we okay. you know Trey, we can deal with these details after the show. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. Sorry. Yeah, no, I had a good time. Yeah, let's talk about all of our logistics that we do uh, on on the air, if you will. Dick. No, I'm kidding. Um, but I, I think I speak for Trey. Hopefully, I mean. This was blast. I mean, I don't think I've laughed as hard as I laughed about the duct tape and the and the grill glue. So <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> the grill so uh, <laughs> it's not covering up it's, anything. It's, I'm it's still laughing. Holding shit together. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to think about it until we're done because I'm going to laugh. But uh, I tell you what, and you know, I'll, I'll do this at end of every show. Uh, you know, the main three places to watch us: Spotify, YouTube, and uh, X. Are you listening? 
Yeah, that's right. I just added two of those tonight. There okay, you go. Cool. Nice, my man. And X slash Twitter slash whatever Elon wants to call it these yep. days. Those are the three places that you can watch that the video is is uh, is there. If you want to listen and not watch, we understand because of the way we look. Sure. I'm pretty hot, though. Uh, well, yeah. Look, tonight you need to check Tim out. Sexy bitch. Right um, <laughs> Unfortunately, since, since Ryan's an editor, it always is a video of him. Oh. So. Yeah, basically, you're gonna see uh, Tim maybe like four seconds. Little no, quick, I'm little kidding. Um, that's glimpse. That's not true. But but uh, check it out. And if you like to listen, uh, listen anywhere podcasts are found. Uh, we still have a little bit of merch that's left. I've been sending some out. So uh, let us know if you want some of that. And. Uh, we love you guys. Anything else tonight? I, I just feel like I could go on for hours with Timmy. Yeah, we got to go. We, <laughs> yeah, my butt's starting to hurt. It's past my bedtime. <laughs> my, <laughs> I got one guy, my butt hurts. The other guy, my past my bedtime. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have another cocktail and enjoy uh, uh, just starting to edit this show. So we had, we had a great time tonight, and uh, we love you guys. See later. You later. Later. Bye, Tim. See ya. Love you guys. Can you imagine if this person that had the diarrhea was actually going to meet up with somebody for that Mile High Club? Oh, Trey. What the hell? <laughs> Maybe that's when it happened. <laughs> oh, oh. Holy shit. Literally. They'd both be dribbling then. <laughs> <laughs>